Does this look familiar? Only better. Yeah, it's the hedge at the makeover house that I hacked back. But everywhere I hacked it, you've got all these beautiful, lush new growth. Oh, wow. Adam's just put in the bifolds. They look amazing. And they should have always been there. I bet the deck's getting overused now. The garden that we put in looks spectacular. With all this new growth, you need to keep the water up to it. So are you thinking what I'm thinking? That's right. We need to steal the neighbor's water. Just kidding. We're actually installing a water tank. So we live in the driest continent in the world. Water is a precious commodity. So what about getting a water tank put in your place so that you can look after the environment, look after your garden, and save a bit of money once it's set up? Hey, Daryl. Hey, how'd you hair you go, mate? Good, mate. Yeah, we'll take this one. This one, not a problem, mate. We'll yeah, straight that's off. That's a slim line. That'll fit down the side of the that'll house. That'll fit down any side of the head <laughs> in your house, mate. That's good. <laughs> no, nah, this is ours, isn't that's it? That's him there, mate. That's him there. Matches the colour of the shed, yeah. Exactly right. How many litres is that? Uh, that's a 3,000 litre tank, mate. It comes full? <laughs> yes, of course. Of air. Of air. Throw it on your shoulder and uh, we'll put it in the back. Too easy, mate. But seriously, there are so many great reasons to install a tank. These are lightweight because they're made from food grade plastic and they're made right here in Australia. And three, one, two, three. three. Helps if everyone's the same height. <laughs> and about there. And we're in luck because we've got a nice solid flat surface for it to sit on. This is about the hardest thing you've got to do. You've got to lift it across the there. Crouch, pause, engage. Happy with that? Happy with that? That's perfect. Thank you. Unless you want to go to Bunnings three or four times on a Saturday, draw yourself a plan and work out what you think you need. As you can see, the drawing's not real pretty, but it's practical. This is the back side, and here's the side with the roller door. There's our tank. And have a look at this good-looking rooster in the check shirt. OK, I spent too much time on this. Sorry. And once you've got a plan, you can start to cut and dry fit all your plumbing. And kids, that's how the phone was invented. Oh, hang on. That's better. You can hit the ocean. I like to put things together dry to make sure they fit. So that goes up there, that's meant to be at 90. That goes there. Ha oh, ha, stop it. Should have been a plumber. Now pull it apart and glue it. Bob's your uncle. Now, if you've ever watched a plumber, you usually see them cleaning out their holes and then using either a pink or a red glue. Well, for non-pressured pipes, which this is, you can use a clear. Best thing about that is when you're finished, it's nice and neat and clean, and you look like you know what you're doing. Now, the one thing you've got to have from the highest point, which is around that corner there, to the top of the tank is fall. Across the back of the shed here, we've got 20 mil from that corner to this corner, meaning the water is always moving in the direction that's going to end up in that tank. Happy? Happy. Happy. Always happy. Nearly there. We've got all the brackets on. The pipes are sitting in position. Now we need to connect the pipes to the tank. Now, with all the leaf litter and even the dust that would be sitting on the roof, it's important to get rid of the first bit of water. So what you do is you put in a divert system. It just means that the first, say, five to ten litres of water come into this pipe here. But you can see it's got an unusual fitting. In the pipe, I have a ball. As it rains, it fills up and floats, and it sticks there like that. So all the dirty water goes into this pipe and all the clean water goes into the tank. I could be a opera singer too. <laughs> Sounds good. Hello! Hello! Just checking that there's no one in there before I seal it off. Now, this is another flush system. Any large leaves are going to come and sit on top of that. Now, here is my robotic arm. Just going to make sure dry that it works. Now, I like putting a 90 on the end because if it's absolutely hammering down, this fills up with water, it'll gush out here like it's a hose on full. With the 90, it has to go into the tank. 
Because we're using it just to water the veggie patch, we don't need a licensed plumber to install the pump. But while Daryl's here, he might as well do it anyway. Now, that just connects to the pump. Every time you hit the trigger, the pump automatically turns on and you've got water. All we're going to do now is wait for it to rain. That's right.